Hi guys, welcome to Cloud TML. Today we will see data engineering roadmap. Okay, so let's start. First of all, normally people ask, can I become a data engineer? So today first I would like to say that anyone from any background can become a data engineer. You just need an interest, an interest to become a data engineer, passion to learn new and new things. So it can take average five to six months to cover the topics of data engineering and start applying for internship jobs in, in this field. So for, let's see uh, skills you require to become a data engineer. These are the things you should know. Python, SQL, Hadoop, Hive, Scoop, HBase, Kafka, Scala, Spark, Airflow and projects related to it and end to end data pipeline. Now you won't see all of it in uh, just one job description. This is the these are the common things you should know to become a data engineer. A company may ask some of uh, things from here. Uh, you know, like there are different different uh, requirements according to a company. Now first thing is Python. How much Python you should know? You should know Python up to the part of data analysis, uh, core Python topics, and then Python libraries for data science. It can take minimum one month to learn python minimum so next thing is sql sql is a must for almost every field because you always need to uh, work on data acquiring the data so the you must know um, sql up to the intermediate to advanced level and it can also be done it's not that difficult like you can do it in three weeks next is the fundamentals of hadoop MapReduce. These are the basics how you work on big data using Hadoop system. So it can take one to two weeks duration to understand uh, Hadoop structure, how it works. And then comes Hive. Through Hive, you query with Hadoop because Hive store metadata and keep the main data in Hadoop system. So through Hive, you, you query the data. Hive language is kind of similar to SQL. So it won't take much time. You can do it in two weeks. You just need to do things using Hadoop, like uh, Hadoop uh, commands and Hive query system. You work with it. Next is Scoop. Scoop is a data ingestion tool. It is used to shift data from Hadoop system to cloud, like just like this images still. Okay, and then sometimes from cloud to Hadoop system. And it, it is can take one week duration to learn it. HBase is a non-relational database system, just like we use SQL in relational data database system. Here is non-relational database system. You must know one. So it can take two weeks duration to learn HBase. And then Kafka, it is it works with uh, streaming data and it can take three to four week duration to learn this. Scala is a programming language. Uh, sometimes uh, instead of Python, you may need to use Scala. Big companies uses Scala, like Netflix. It can take minimum three weeks duration to learn Scala. Next comes Spark. Spark also works with streaming data. And uh, it can take three to four week duration to learn this thing. Next comes Airflow. It is used to uh, simplify the work for you, create and schedule jobs for example every month data is coming you need to schedule it automatically then you use airflow it can take a week to learn and then after you know all of that you need to use that to create end-to-end -end data pipeline and sometimes even on the cloud so you do it in the end and overall you can take like five to six months to learn all of this and start applying by the time you will be confident and you can do it guys uh, so if you like this video please hit like subscribe our channel and comment uh, if you have any query regarding data engineering thank you